What's up guys, Darcizzle and Puddin coming at you from Darcizzle Offshore and in today's video we're going to tell you exactly why we ripped out our sea deck and replaced it with our new sponsor, Marine Mat. That's right Darcizzle, we're going to cover all your top questions such as how you remove the foam, how you clean the foam, how long it lasts, and of course how much it costs. Let's get right to it. Now I know your number one question is going to be, why did you get rid of the sea deck? Well, they came out back in 2014 and they put Sea Deck on this boat right here, this center console. And then they did our flats boat about mid 2018. That's right, Darcizzle. And you know, we didn't have too much contact with them after that. And then it's, and it's been three years. And I think they sold, uh, their company sold to someone else back like in the spring to more of a, a parent company. And so it just came time that we needed to start looking getting some more flooring done. Okay, but why Marine Mat? You know, there honestly are several companies that put out a EVA closed foam uh, flooring for, uh, for boats. While we were researching uh, you know, a bunch of companies, including Marine Mat, coincidentally, Marine Mat actually reached out to us and we were super excited to that because one of the things we look for, especially when working with Dar Sizzle, you know, she's been doing this 10 years and you know, we like to protect her brand and we like to give you guys the best quality stuff. And so one thing we like is that people are eager to work with us. So that's when we really started looking into, into Marine Mat. So one big part was experience and Marine Mat's been around, and you may have just heard of them, but they've been around since like 2014, Dar Sizzle. And uh, before that, the owners were big into uh, PWCs, personal watercrafts, and did all those traction mats and, and flooring for those kind of things and kayaks and such. So they've been doing it for a long time. Marine Mat has multiple patents for their Stick It and Snap It series, as well as a special patent for their adhesive that is super strong. They are actually the first ones to create the Snap It series, which the whole entire floor of the Pro Line has. Really freaking cool. One of my favorite newest innovations that they have and this, if you guys ever had to remove this stuff, you, you're going to see or, and realize how valuable this is, is tear-proof technology in that the actual foam is stronger and won't tear off in pieces when you pull it up. And also, the adhesive, I'm just going to put this on here, let it set, and then we're going to pull it back. But you're going to see that I can tear this off and you can reapply it, and it's not going to tear in half. So we'll be back to that later. Another thing we liked is that a lot of reputable boat companies put their trust into Marine Mat and have Marine Mat factory installed. All right, obviously in order to get the new stuff on, where do you get the old stuff off? And everybody always asks, how do you get the old stuff off? Is it hard, blah, blah, blah. It's not that much fun, <laughs> okay? Uh, what we did though, we, I had the neighbor kid, he's 16 years old, never really had a, a real job before. Um, and so I was happy to give, you know, pay him. I paid him too much, but whatever, you know, minimum wage is $10 an hour. I think I paid him 15 and it took him 28 hours to do both boats. So it was like $350 a boat with this kid working. Um, and we, all we did was we sprayed uh, Goo Gone on it. Let it sit a few minutes. Well, first he pulled up, he was able to pull up almost all the mats, you know, by hand. Yes. All right. So that part wasn't terrible. And then Goo, goo Gone on it for, a, how long do you leave it on there for? You let it sit about five, 10 minutes. Then you come back over, you go either use a plastic razor on the smooth areas yeah, and then yeah. just use the power washer and blew it right off. And then last but not least, use a bunch of Dawn dish soap to just remove the residue from the Goo Gone. Right. So it wasn't that bad. You know, the product's on for seven years and then you pay the neighbor kid 250 you know, if you had a real working person, like 250 or 300 bucks to do it. Yeah. And no sweat. It was definitely a learning curve for both of us. We were learning as we went along. Yeah. Pain in the butt. The adhesive went everywhere. Yeah, Warning. watch the overspray on this power washer. Because now the side of my, of this boat has it all over the side. We got to get yeah. that off. Yeah, just the warning. It goes everywhere. All right. <laughs> all right, back to this piece. It's been about half an hour. Watch this. See, it's not that easy to come off. But once you get going, just go slow so it doesn't tear. And if this tears and all these little pieces come off, it's super impossible. Remember, the whole other, other boat, so I just did this. So nothing here. Got this piece. It, it just rained. And then you can theoretically reapply it. So that, this is one of their great technologies and something that really sold us on the product. The number one question you guys are going to ask, I hope you listen to this before you ask it down in the comments below. How do you clean marine mat or EVA foam? Just like anything else, for example, if you put brand new wheels on your truck, you want to keep them shiny, you want to keep them clean. Same exact thing with the marine mat. So when I catch fish and there gets blood on the deck, usually you want to take care of it sooner rather than later. You don't want to let it fully dry. So usually after I'll catch a fish and we film it and all that good stuff, I'll use a hard bristle brush with a little bit of seawater and get, just get the initial blood up. When we get home, I'm the one who cleans it. I've been cleaning EVA foam now for seven years. I'm used to it and I like to keep it nice and pretty. Of course, you want to have 
a hard bristle brush. That's usually what is my go-to, is a hard bristle brush. Really gets into the crooks and crevices. And I also like to go with the grain. Uh, this is special lasered EVA phone, so I'm just gonna go with the grain back and forth. This is the brush design. So as long as you go with the grain, give it a little elbow grease on certain areas that are a little tougher, I'm usually able 99.9% .9 of the time to get it looking brand new. Honestly, the product is beyond reproach at this point with so many different types of boats having some sort of EVA flooring. From commercial to charter boats to recreational boats to leisure boats to go fast boats, you name it, everybody's got some type of flooring. Yeah, you know, really the, the most awesome benefits to me is it's, you know, again, it's soft on your feet. I don't know if you fish all day long, especially if you're in bare feet, I mean, your feet are going to start to hurt. So this is a nice cushion for crawling around the boat. Also, when he climbed up the boat the other day, when we took off all the foam, he was crying because the, the skid on I the boat hurt knee, him. I put my knee up like I got on the side and it was all hard because I had <laughs> you know, the foam. I was like, ugh, it was terrible. And, but it also has a, a great grip. And you see this boat, like you could just fall off in two seconds. It has a way better grip than your, uh, than your surface on your boat now. I can throw the cast net, no problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it also, it also looks awesome. You know, this is a 1999 boat and people think it's brand new. So it's a great way, you know, we all love to customize our trucks. I just got a new truck and we love to customize our boats. And this is just gonna make your boat, look, look at this boat, it's a 1999. Look, <laughs> it doesn't look old, it looks brand new, right? Exactly, it makes old <laughs> boats look brand spanking new. And I just, I just love the look and I love it. Marine Matt team killed it. All right, big question. How much does it cost to do all this? Well, you know, guys, that's like, there's so much customization involved and we don't know what your boat is. It's almost like asking how, how long is a piece yeah. of string? From kayaks to big boats to how much you <laughs> want to do on the boat, it all depends. Right, you know, we have three layers on here, which is, you know, high level, yes. you know, but you could have one layer, two layers, three levers, layers. It depends on how much stuff you want to have, how many fish you want to have lasered into your boat. Right. Or, or, and the other option is routing them into your boat. Right. And so, and you know, how long your boat, how wide your boat is, there's right. just so many options, and that's really what's beautiful about it. You can right. customize it to do whatever you want. You can also, you know, send in templates and, and put install it yourself. So there's a, a, just a thousand options. Just to explain some of those options a little more. Just for example, guys, once again, each layer is three millimeters. You can go from one to three layers. I decided to go with three. So this is a nine millimeter layer put together. We have titanium, ice blue, Egan blue on this boat. And then camo, ocean camo on the walls. This is a routing uh, design right here. This is all routed into the foam. The laser is this. The laser is this design on the brush and also this beautiful snook and the marine matte logo above is lasered. That's about it guys. We hope we answered all your questions. Once again, we're just super thrilled and stoked and excited to be working with a company like Marine Matt, who's excited to work with us. And we're just excited to get out there and catch some more fish <laughs> yeah. and get these decks all bloody. If you guys have any questions we didn't cover, go ahead, comment that right down below. We'll be happy to help answer them. And yeah. I'll link Marine's Matt information in the description for y'all to check out. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. So thank you guys for watching. And until our next adventure, Follow, follow your dreams, dreams and, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. <laughs> oh, I got a Whoa, kiss. Whoa, that was a no I wasn't kiss. ready for that one. That was a no kiss.